Lewis Hamilton has gone full soy boy shill. And for those of you that don't know, Lewis Hamilton is the best Formula One racing driver at the moment, considered one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport. Of course, he has been vegan for a couple of years now. He posted a concerning message earlier this week. Honestly, I feel like giving up on everything, just like shutting down completely. Why bother when the world is such a mess and people don't seem to care? I'm going to take a moment away to gather my thoughts. Thank you to those of you who do give a damn about the world. I'm guessing he is disappointed that his nose stud has not granted him entrance to the fairy boy twink club or he is simply another cog in the machine of the vegan agenda that is striving to control us even further. The F1 star says a flourishing meat and dairy industry leads to deforestation, animal cruelty, and our seas decaying. Adopting a vegan diet is the only way to truly save our planet, Lewis Hamilton has said. This is ridiculous because topsoil erosion from conventional plant agriculture, yeah, those 70 different fruits and vegetables you eat every day that are flown around the world, is one of the most damaging things to the environment. And the amount of insects and small mammals that die in said plant agriculture is astonishing. As I've said many times, doesn't matter if it's a grain-fed feedlot steak or a piece of GMO tofu, they just want to control the food supply. They can say all they want, a vegan diet is better for your health, better for the environment, better from a moral and ethical perspective, but they are wrong on every single front. It's about further deteriorating the health of the population because apparently the standard American diet hasn't done that well enough over the past 50 years. In a thoughtful post on Instagram, the F1 star described the world as a messed up place with leaders who are either uneducated or don't care about the environment at all. Going vegan can be done so quickly, he said, adding, all you have to do is put your mind to it. Addressing the future of the earth, he said human extinction is becoming more and more likely as we overuse our resources. Are those the same leaders that paid you to put on this vegan facade and spread these lies? The 34-year-old, who sold his private jet earlier this year, said that agriculture farming was the biggest pollutant and far more than our travel industry combined. His car collection is said to include two Ferraris, a McLaren, a Pagani Zonda, and several types of Mercedes. There are a few motorbikes too. He sold his private jet, but still flies around the world and probably burns more gasoline in a day than most people do in a year. Does the average person not see the hypocrisy in this? It's like Bill Gates writing a check to Beyond Meat while he's eating caviar and foie gras. It's, it's completely crazy. The ace driver continued, we were taught that eating animal products was good for us, but we've been lied to for hundreds of years. The star, who is currently trying to secure a sixth Formula One Drivers' Championship, said he was sad that so many people, even close friends, ignore what is happening daily. Apparently, Lewis Hamilton ignores what's happening daily as well because animal products have been demonized for dozens of years. I guess it's easy to twist reality when everyone has the brain function of a dead rabbit because of the poisonous standard American diet and being blasted by cell phone radiation all day, breathing in brake fumes, not exercising, not being in nature. Uh, but hey, sick and unhealthy people make those in charge plenty of money and of course even people with good intentions can make plenty of money off of sick and unhealthy people it's just these people make money and the person gets sicker and unhealthier and their quality of life deteriorates you can make money and make the person feel better that's a, a possibility that's very feasible but never gonna happen Hamilton has been vegan for a couple of years and has recently launched a chain of vegan restaurants called Neat Burger, with the first opening in central London last September. I'm picturing two scenarios in the future, one being where these evil people are being exposed for the demons they are, or the more likely scenario where there are a bunch of complacent sheep that live by the rules as what we are doing now. 
appeal to authority. Oh, I coughed three times. I got to go to the doctor and, and completely banish my stomach with antibiotics. I urge you to do some research. Find the compassion I know you have within you to recognize what you are contributing to in terms of what you eat, which keeps the meat and dairy industry flourishing, and therefore deforestation, animal cruelty, our seas and climate decaying on a daily basis. Yeah, sure, I'll do some research and come up with confirmation bias as every single resource available to the average person is controlled by a special interest group. Most people will get sucked into this plant-based BS nonsense. Some people might go keto and poison themselves with linoleic acid, chucking down uh, avocado oil and brownies made from seven different types of artificial sweeteners and 40 ingredients that are low carb that were made in a laboratory. Others might go carnivore and eat two to three pounds of conventional steak a day. Then their dick goes limp from all of the atrazine, the estrogenic herbicides and agrochemicals that are plaguing our food supply. But most people are just going to stick with what they normally eat. Maybe substituting some meat for a vegan experiment of oxidized oils and chemicals to further the B12 deficiencies and anemia iron deficiencies in the United States. You guys don't know, there are quite a few people who are B12 deficient, quite a few people who are iron deficient, and these underlying nutrient deficiencies are actually a cause for why so many people don't feel well, have low energy, or so sick, and, and even doctors don't identify these very simple things. You know, when you go to a doctor, they don't do a vitamin panel. If doctors were doing vitamin panels, they wouldn't be making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of antibiotics and surgeries. You know, a $10 vitamin D3 supplement might make you feel the best you've ever felt. But hey, doctors don't like that. Big pharma doesn't like that. Big agriculture doesn't like that. It is nice that Lewis Hamilton achieved so much before becoming vegan. Interesting to see how much longer this legacy will last, as every single professional athlete that has gone vegan has had career-ending injuries within a year of doing so. I'm sure if a chess player went vegan, their eye would explode or something ridiculous because it seems like no matter what sport they're in, a vegan diet ruins it. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon. And above all, guys, please, please, please share the video. Uh, you can also check out my other various social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord. Uh, you know, Go to my YouTube channel page to see what other ways you can get in touch with Frankie Boy. Uh, if you guys do want to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, we added at least half a dozen new products last week. And now we have beef tendons in stock. So if you guys are looking to make some bone broth or some stock, uh, definitely check that out at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also go to frankiesnaturals.com to get things such as Frankie's Natural Lip Balm. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.